a 72-hour desperate search for a Harford County woman swept away is over. Her boyfriend tells WJZ he found the body of 34-year-old Melissa Lehu this afternoon while searching a quarry near where she vanished on Friday night. WJZ is live in Harford Cam County. Kimberly Eaton has more on this situation. Kimberly? And just a few minutes ago, we watched teams of police and other first responders pull away from this road. This is where they had been working to recover Leahy's body for the last few hours. They have confirmed that it is, in fact, her. I spoke with her boyfriend a little bit ago. He says he was kayaking with teams of family and friends near the quarry, searching desperately when he spotted her this afternoon. I saw her. I could tell it was her. Yeah. Kyle Bowman was the last person to see his girlfriend alive. Now he says, after three days of searching alongside family and police, he was the one to find her body not far from where floodwaters swept her away Friday night. As soon as we were in the lake, I, I saw her floating. Um, maybe 100 yards off from where I put the kayak in from. 34-year-old Melissa Lehew took these cell phone videos minutes before she stepped out into the dangerous storms to try and help Bowman save a trapped driver. Oh my gosh, the tree just flew down. The couple had stopped on Route 136 near James Run Road, where you can see in her videos a car stuck on the Broad Run Bridge. But the water washed away both Lehu and the driver before Bowman could get to either. In the days since, Maryland State Police have called their operation a search, not a recovery effort, believing still that Lehu might be found alive. Um, we're looking through the area. Um, you know, we're, again, this is one of those we're, you know, we're, hoping, we're hoping for the best. 72 hours later, Bowman says it's the ending they'd hoped against. She was trying to help a perfect stranger when she, when she um, got washed down that stream. And police were not searching in the water today after two divers got hurt here yesterday. They had called that off. Lakey was the only storm victim still missing. Reporting live in Harford County, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.